I want you to meet my students. This is Caitlin, this is Mike, and this is Milan. And here are their Bitmojis. And here's my Bitmoji. It definitely looks like me, but theirs doesn't represent them. And that is the topic. Back with me, a familiar face, Nick Ferroni, high school teacher from New Jersey, along with him, one of his former students, Caitlin Gerlich. Good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you, Nick, It's so good to have you, Caitlin. You noticed, obviously, that the emojis didn't have someone that represented you, so you wanted to do something about it, right, Caitlin? Yes, I did. And Nick, that's when she reached out to you. How did you first hear about it? Uh, privilege is the ability to not know things affect you. And, and it's something that obviously when you meet Caitlin and my other students, it's, you could see why I'm so inspired as an educator. But when she brought it to my attention, I had no idea, nor would I have to, because that's not something I would look for. And it kind of, it, it definitely hit me in the stomach that I'd even realize that because it's not a resource or an option that I would even have to look for when I make my Bitmoji. We're looking at a picture of you in an empty classroom this year. It certainly has been different years prior. Caitlin, Nick is a teacher. How did he inspire you? Because I know so many students. You're one of their favorites, Nick. Caitlin, how did he inspire you? Uh, he was, um, the way he taught, it was not out of the book, but there was different projects. And I'm more of a creative learner, so his class is really um, helpful, and I always remember doing the different projects. And the fact that he still helps students um, that were in his class, even after they graduate, is also cool. And I think it's so cool that you're doing this because everyone should feel included. Caitlin, how far along are you in terms of this changing? Because it seems obvious to me that it would be easy nothing ever is how far along in the process are you caitlin well right now the change.org um petition that i started has about forty-one thousand signatures wow Bit bitmoji has sort of reached out on twitter but it was more generic the generic answer they've been getting uh pretty much for years that mm -hmm. the work that they're working on it, but that was last year, and then they said it again February this year, and still haven't seen anything. If there's one thing I've learned about Nick, only meeting him a couple times, Nick, you don't seem to give up here. What's your next move to make this happen? Because it can't be that canned response. It should be a given, in my opinion. I mean, it, it should be something that's uh, just common sense, and. And again, as someone who always felt represented, like it breaks my heart that Caitlin and other students and the millions of people who, who kind of are faced with this or even going through it, it should be a non-issue. And I mean, obviously, and again, obviously, yes, Caitlin, why I inspire her. It's like, I mean, my students inspire me. Like, she came to me. All I'm doing is using my platform to amplify her voice and, and her mission. Because it should be, it should have been done already. And, and like she was saying, she's been doing this for over a year. And I'll continue to help her and the other students on their mission until it gets done. It's just, it's, it shouldn't take this long. I can see why your students like you and you both inspire each other. Caitlin, thank you, and please check back, and I hope it's not the canned response that you've been getting, Caitlin and Nick, and we hope that this helps in any way that we can because you have the right, just like everyone else, to be represented. Caitlin Gorlick, nice to meet you, and Nick, good to see you both. Thank you thank so much. You thank you for having me. Thanks again.